हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस कंप्यूटर एड इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग और इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स सो टॉपिक ही इज आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन सो लेट अस सी वन मोर प्रॉब्लम हियर सो दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ अगेन टू सॉलिड्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू टू सॉलिड्स सो वन इज इट इज अबाउट अ फ्रस्टम ऑफ अ स्क्वायर पिरामिड एंड अदर वन इज अ फ्रस्टम ऑफ अ कोन ओके सो नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट आर द डाइमेंशंस ऑफ अ फ्रस्टम ऑफ अ स्क्वायर पिरामिड so now base side is 40 mm and top face is 20 mm and height of this cone first term of a pyramid is 40 mm and first term of a cone so base diameter is 80 mm top diameter is 60 mm and height is 30 mm okay so if you consider the example or the rough diagram of this one is Now this is what a first term of a cone. So it has a top diameter as a sixty mm, and bottom diameter here it is a eighty mm. Okay. So over this one you got a pyramid. That is what a side. Base is forty mm side, and top surface is twenty mm side. So now here it is got a top surface is it is a twenty mm. So base is forty mm. Okay. So now overall height of the first term of a cone is thirty mm, and uh, the square pyramid height is forty mm. Okay. So now let us see how we can construct our grid sheet first. Okay. So now let us go for first the dimensions. To our first term of a cone, base diameter is eighty mm. So top diameter is sixty mm. So overall height of this one is thirty mm. Okay. So over this one we have a square pyramid. We have a square pyramid. base side is 40 mm top side is 20 mm and height is 40 mm and height is 40 mm so now let us go for first construction of a first term of a cone here so now draw one horizontal reference line Of a thin, then you draw one vertical construction line here. So let us identify this mark. So now first thing is you need to draw base circle of 80 mm. So when you draw in a circle, so when you cover this circle with the help of a box method, so you are going to get exactly square here. You are going to get exactly square. So now you just check out the again dimensions with respect to the isometric scale, with respect to isometric scale. So you need to multiply every unit with eight point one six four mm. So check out with respect to isometric scale here. Now base diameter is eighty mm. Okay. So let us mark one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Similarly, on left side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now let us construct a rhombus here. Let us construct a rhombus or a square, an isometric okay isometric projection. So now you need to obtain a circular shape here. So to obtain the circular shape in isometric projections you need to construct a four center points let us construct four center points so now from this corner you join midpoint of the opposite edge so 1 2 3 4 okay 1 2 3 4 1 similarly 1 2 3 4 here so 1 2 3 4 here so now let us join from this corner to this midpoint from this corner to this midpoint 
again from this corner to this midpoint from this corner to this midpoint okay and let us draw one more horizontal line here to connect the diagonal point so now you got a four center points here so let us mark this point as a o1 this point as a o2 this point as a o3 and this point as a o4 okay so i'll mark again points here so 1 2 3 4 so now to get the shape now to get the shape so the thing is that so keeping o1 as a center point o2 as a radius I'll draw an arc here okay similarly so keeping o4 as a center point o4 3 as a radius draw an arc here similarly keeping o3 as a center point o3 4 as a radius draw an arc here then o2 as a center point o2 1 as a radius draw an arc here so now you've got a base circle for the frustum of a cone now height is how much here so height is 30 mm height is 30 mm so now from this center point you mark three units you mark three units now this point becomes the center point for top surface of a frustum of a cone so let us mark this point as a o now this point as an o5 okay now keeping this point as a reference you need to construct again a square box here so now if you calculate the dimensions let us go for what are the dimensions required for top surface so now what is the diameter of the top surface here it is 60 mm so now keeping this as a reference this point as a reference we just mark three block on right side three block on left side okay similarly you draw three block on down side and three block on up side okay so now covering all these four corner points you just construct a rectangle here covering all these four points you just construct a rectangle again a procedure is same so you just draw midpoint here draw a line midpoint connect here from this point you connect here from this point you connect over here now you got again center points now you got again center points so now let us mark this point as a o6 actually no need of representation of all these uh, markings in drawing so for your understanding purpose i am just notifying the reference point here okay now so draw the arc now let us draw the arc so keeping it over as a center point so now just draw an arc over here now similarly o7 draw an arc over here similarly o9 draw an arc over here similarly o6 draw an arc over here okay now you need to join the quadrant points here so now you just take a line and you just drop down so making it has to be tangent not to touch a quadrant point here okay not to touch the quadrant points now let this is what a frustum of a cone so next you need to draw the frustum of an pyramid here now base dimension is 40 mm base dimension is 40 mm okay so now just you observe carefully now you got a center point so from here you draw two units from here you draw two units from here you draw two units and here you draw two units so now you construct just an square box right just to construct an square box i'm just going to highlight once again here okay now this is the center point from here two units from here two units okay from this center point two units two units so now you construct an a rectangular log here you want to get a rhombus right now this is what a base of pyramid so now what is the height here so height is 40 mm height is 40 mm that means four units so now from this center point 
so from this center point you just draw line 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 unit so now this will become the center point for the top surface okay now from this point so what is the top surface here it is of 20 mm side now from this point draw one unit here one unit here so on forward and on backward so now you cover this entire corner point constructing like an square okay now next thing is next thing is you need to go for connection of this slant edges here you need to go for connection of the slant edges so now this is a one edge this is a one point connect here this is a one point connect here this is a one point connect here so now you just observe so what are the hidden edges now this edge is hidden okay so similarly this edge is hidden okay now so some curvature portion of this uh, top surface of the cone is hidden okay so and some portion of this bottom portion is also hidden okay the thing is that if you are able to identify the hidden edges then you just convert them to hidden lines if you are facing difficulty you just should remote and you keep only visible lines okay now this completes the theoretical solution of this problem